things we would like to uh, to do at this time is, you know, here in the Skinny, we like to promote entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And we want to acknowledge Ronald Rivers, who's with Symmetry. Ronald is a um, supplier of nutritional products. Mm -hmm. And one of the products is the Genesis product, mm -hmm. which is a restorative drink that promotes longevity and um, healthy living. Mm -hmm. So if you want to find more information about this, go to www.symmetry3. Mm -hmm. Dot org. That's S Y M M E T R Y 3.org to find out more information about this great nutritional product. Now, before we left, we were talking about young men and young women mm -hmm. sagging their pants. Well, I um, was brought up to some information that was very interesting <laughs> by our host here, uh, Mr. Fleece Johnson, the quote unquote booty warrior. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this guy. Man, when I was um I was doing research on this. And I just, you know, went to YouTube. I'm trying to find, you know, some information about pants sagging and, and all that and what it came from and where it came from and where it's stemmed from. And I ran across this clip. Fleece Johnson, the booty boy. And he was in I think Kansas City State or Kentucky State Prison. And man, how he was talking about you sagging your pants and that man will be up in your butt and he like booty and I'm like I, man, I made sure I had my belt tight. I had my belt tight even more. I started to go get another belt. I started to get my son belt and tighten it. Hey, no. I didn't, want, I didn't want no sagging. I didn't even want no bagginess in my pants. <laughs> man, but, man, you want to get some skinny jeans yeah, on. Well, <laughs> Keep it all tight. His his video was gory and graphic. He was just saying, hey, you play, you. he liked that style. He, You know, if you sagging, he liked it. So, man, when you when when you out here wearing your pants sagging down, oh, uh, you know, uh, under your butt, off your butt, you, you might have some spectators watching. So, if you know, if I was you, I'd make sure I keep them pulled up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, just would you want to wake up to this guy and call this guy daddy? <laughs> you want to call him daddy? You keep sagging your pants. You might have your opportunity. <laughs> yeah, but, and, uh, you know in that video when I showed when I was listening when I let you listen to it, uh -huh. he was like, We can do it the easy way or the hard way. Easy way or the hard way. So basically he said he was gonna get what he wanted. Yeah. Oh boy. He was he was gonna get uh, the booty. Exactly. So <laughs> wow. But yeah, man, that, that sagging thing is, is nah, it's it's terrible. Man, they don't understand where it came from. But that goes to show you what we're facing in, in our world today, you know. Um it, it's it's just really sad, you know, mm -hmm. and, and those out there who have young men and women that you're raising, you know, we're bringing kids up in a really tough time right now, you know, and it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, we're trying to shield kids from certain things, but we need to educate these young people. Mm -hmm. they, they need to be educated as to what's really going on. You know, uh, I've, I've discovered that the more you spend time with children mm -hmm. and explain to mm -hmm. them why certain things are acceptable and why certain things are not acceptable, mm -hmm. they begin to develop an understanding yes, they do. and not just uh, uh, taking directive, if you will. Mm -hmm. they, they get an understanding and realize, okay, that's not what I want from my life. You know, we're shielding them from the Fleece Johnsons and and from all of the the, the uh, predators that are out there right yeah, now. Yes. I'm telling you, it's it's really sad. And I have babies coming up, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I spend a lot of time over at the gun range. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and now, <laughs> believe me, these these are uh, these are uh, uh, predators out here watching. Yes, they, they are. They watching. You know what yes, I mean? They and. Are. and uh, <laughs> So, so make sure, but you know what, uh, and, and not to get off that subject, but not only that it's becoming an epidemic the way men are letting their pants sag, right. I'm starting to see women letting their thong show, letting your, 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 your boy short show, your low, don't, don't, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure it's cute in it's right place. Right. But when you bend over in a restaurant, I don't, well, some people might want to see you, dog. But, uh, you know what I mean? But I got a wife. You yeah. kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know I wouldn't want my wife bending over in her under, underwear or thong show. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want no other man looking at my wife. My you know wife what I mean? better not so, bend over showing nothing. It's like, so, 
you know, women, we, we got to respect ourselves. Because when we see that type of stuff, we got to respect ourselves. Because when you see that type of stuff, man, I'm looking at, you know, my heyday, I'm like, okay, she'll be easy, you know, male well. She, yeah. she needs attention. Yeah. And so that's yeah. how the most men looking at. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you want that husband or that father, whatever, you know, for your for that child, you know what I mean? Dress a call make make it work. That's right. You know what I mean? Make it work for it. That's right. You know what I mean? Because if I can go in the store and just get a piece of candy and, and not have to pay for it and walk out and never get worried about getting caught. I mean, you yeah, know, I'm going right. to be back tomorrow, that's right. next week, that's and right. next month, and I ain't going to never commit. But then on top of that, after a mm -hmm. while, you're going to get tired of that candy. You ain't going to want that candy no more. Exactly. You're going to move on to the next thing. You know, uh, what, you know, the one thing that I have to say about women is w women are, are expected to carry themselves with a mm -hmm. certain level of class. Yes. You know, uh, it, it would disturb me to see my wife my daughter, my mother, my mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. carrying themselves in that manner. Yes. Hands sagging, uh, thong showing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, where's the attraction in that? I don't know. But you know what? I will say this. If a man is attracted to that, you have to wonder what type of man you're looking at. Exactly. You have to think about that. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the type of individual I feel that everything, as uh, Al has said, is in its own place. Everything should happen in its own place. You don't do certain things like that. I mean, you're walking out, you're going to the stores, mm -hmm. you know, you carry yourself with some type of dignity, mm -hmm. you know, a certain level of dignity. But to have, you know, parts of your body exposed, even with the low cut shirts, I mean, mm -hmm. it just it gets shirt. out of hand. Yes, it does. It gets out of hand. So mm -hmm. the sagging is just ridiculous, especially for women. Especially for women, and man. Especially for women. And uh, I, I know my daughter's probably saying, my dad is so, so tough on us. Um, my, uh, my eight-year-old said that, Dad, I'm going to wear my back out tomorrow. I was like, yeah? Oh, you, so you telling me you wear your back out? Oh, oh okay then. And so, so her uncle started laughing. They saw the next day, she had a t-shirt on with a dress. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. You know what I mean? You know, I know she probably like, Dad, you, you suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I, I'm gonna make sure that they be women that they in my my little women and, and so is their mother. That's right. You know what I mean? Uh, teach them how to respect themselves. That's right. You know what I mean? That's right. At all times. That's know? right. Ain't nothing. I tell you, ain't nothing come easy. A certain level of respect is 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 required, I believe, mm -hmm. and I think that. We all should actually have that level of respect mm -hmm. for ourselves and for nothing else. Um, I know it's not important for us to focus too much on what other people think. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, um, what do you, how do you view yourself? Exactly. You know, uh, even certain young men that, that are striving to do things in life and become successful. Mm -hmm. Would you want a, a lady on your side that's always showing parts of her body or sagging her pants or um, her her jeans are so low cut that you see her her thong or her underwear and you know are you, you are you happy with this this type of person exactly and and for you young ladies are you comfortable with having a young man mm -hmm. who is exposing himself and mm -hmm. wearing his pants down below and you know what does that what does that say about you mm -hmm. what does it say about you how would you feel and then of course then you you know your children you have children now if they bring that home mm -hmm. then again it's 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 just a, a certain level of disrespect i think for yourself as well as for your family exactly and, and i'm with you on that and like you just said man i i don't have a problem with um you know I me mean? you know because if you got an attractive wife of course, some guys gonna do. Oh, she not. But I don't want nobody up there lusting over my wife. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Be like, man, did you see that? Man, come now, you just put me in a bad situation. Yeah, man, you know how it was back in the day. We used to be like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? It was like we were.